My name is Dr. Austin Gallagher. I am the founder and CEO of Beneath the Waves, and I've been involved in scientific research in the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean for over 10 years. A large focus of these efforts have been in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, which has really become almost a second home for our organization and also for me personally. It's an incredible place to study sharks because they've been protected there for almost 30 years. And we have an opportunity to study almost ancient type ecosystems that have really not been affected by humans. We were doing a lot of tracking and monitoring of sharks throughout the entire Bahamas archipelago. It's a huge ocean space. One of the things that we learned was that tiger sharks actually spent significantly more time in areas where there were seagrass meadows. This was really when we started understanding the true value of habitat. And if you want to protect species like sharks, it really starts with the habitat. And I remember very distinctly having a conversation with one of my colleagues and a scientific advisor beneath the waves, Dr. Carlos Duarte. One of our first conversations, I was sharing some of the updates of our work with him over a Zoom call. And I actually showed him some of these camera tag videos and he proclaimed to me that this might have been a more significant discovery than we actually thought it was. Many years ago, about maybe uh, 25 years ago, I flew from Spain to Miami and I flew over the Bahamas banks. And I was really impressed from what I saw through the window of the plane, that amazing uh, turquoise space and huge area that all was suitable to support ecosystems like a seagrass meadows, but yet no one had been uh, working on seagrass meadows. So when I met Austin Gallagher, then we immediately discussed about the importance of seagrass meadows as a foundational ecosystem and the need to be able to quantify the area of seagrass in this amazing ecosystem. The Bahamas Banks is such a huge environment that is impossible to cover by human divers. So bringing together the sharks and seagrass, we instrumented sharks for the first time with 360 degree cameras. So the tiger sharks have actually been scouting the Bahamas banks for us. At this point, we knew what we had to do. We took a remote sensing approach and we utilized experts who harvested satellite data and we mapped out the spatial extent of the seagrass meadows on the Bahama banks, ultimately revealing a huge number, up to 93,000 square kilometers, making this by far the world's largest seagrass meadow. It's a remarkable demonstration of how little we still know about the ocean. It's a call for action that we really need to invest more in exploring the oceans and that in the exploration, there can be major benefits and understanding. So now we understand what supports the ecosystem in the Bahamas Bank that is so vibrant, but also how important the blue carbon stock in this seagrass meadow is, which is the largest blue carbon stock asset anywhere in the ocean. So for humanity, it means that the ocean is probably healthier than we might believe, because we are usually bombarded with negative headlines about the bad state of the ocean. So it brings us hope but it also brings us a new tool to be able to elicit uh, climate action by conserving and restoring the areas of the seagrass meadow. We can definitely contribute to uh, climate mitigation. It's also really powerful to think about what this discovery means because sharks have been protected in the Bahamas and we now know that the seagrass meadow can really have very large ecosystem services and economic benefits for the people of the Bahamas. So it's really not too much of a stretch to say that if you protect the sharks, you can protect the humans.